بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, We are going to talk about Ohm's uh, law experiment uh, Before we can talk about Ohm's law We need to talk about the potential difference Or the voltage And the unit for that is volt Also we um, talk about the current the current and the unit for it is ampere then we can talk about uh, the scientist Ohm uh, Ohm tried to understand the relation between the voltage and the current in an electrical uh, circuit so the simplest electrical circuit we have a resistance and it is attached or connected to a battery so this is R this is V Ohm realized that when he takes several measurements of this electrical circuit and he tried to plot V versus I always he will have a straight line always you will have a straight line and the slope of that straight line he called it electrical resistance and he gave it the symbol r and the unit is ohm so we are going to do the same thing repeat his work and uh, we need to measure the current and we need to measure the voltage for um, a simple circuit for a simple circuit so to measure the current we need to break the circuit and then uh, force the current to go through the ammeter to measure the voltage it's very simple we just uh, measure the voltage across the um, at, um, uh, the battery itself or the power uh, supply in our situation so you take um, several measurements you adjust the current uh, or you adjust the voltage current will be adjusted again another reading and a third reading fourth reading etc and then uh, we plot a graph V versus I and the slope will be R After you, you do your graph you remove the resistance from the circuit And then you measure its resistance using the voltmeter So you have R measured and we have R from the graph and we compare them with an experimental error they should they are supposed to agree with an experimental error so that's the first part now for the second part we will have two resistances not one and the two resistances are connected in series in series so we have r1 we have r2 we connect them to our power supply this is our circuit now if we want to measure the current we need to break the circuit force the current to go through the ammeter and to measure the voltage simply we measure the voltage across the terminal uh, power supply across the uh, power supply itself we take several measurements v versus i we will have uh, uh, points we do a fit a linear fit and that slope is our R equivalent 
are equivalent. What is R equivalent in series? Well, R equivalent in series is equal R1 plus R2 plus whatever resistances are connected in series. So, after we finish the experiment, we take out the two resistances. R1, we connect them to the ammeter to measure the total uh, resistance. So we have R uh, measured, and we have R from the graph. We compare the two. R from the graph is R equivalent here. The definition, of, the mathematical definition of R equivalent is R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus. Uh, but we need to compare R measured directly and R from the graph. They should agree within experimental error. The third part of this experiment is that we have two resistances and we connect them in parallel as you can see in the diagram connect them in parallel to the battery or the power supply in order to measure the current we break the circuit and we force the current to go through the ammeter the voltage we just measure the voltage across the terminal power supply and then we have a graph V versus I several points we linear fit them and the slope will be R equivalent the slope will be R equivalent. What's the law of R equivalent? Mathematically, it's R equivalent inverse is equal R1 inverse plus R2 inverse plus R3 inverse, etc. We have only uh, two resistances in this. So it's R1 inverse plus R2 inverse. So we, uh, after we finish uh, the data, we remove the two resistances from the circuit. We connect them uh, to the ammeter to measure the resistance. And we have R uh, measured. And we have R equivalent uh, from the graph. And we compare them within experimental error. They should agree because uh, we are doing the same it's 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 the same circuit basically same resistance once measured with the graph once measured directly and thank you for your time